Hey everybody, this is Christopher at the Forest Pharmacy, and today I'm here with Noki the dog. It's Noki the dog! And we're hanging out over here by the woodshed. I've been splitting wood recently. I wanted to show y'all a little something about, it's about log cultivation really. I get a question a lot about plugging patterns on how you plug logs and you know, so kind of basic questions. And I will show you a perfect example because we picked up a bunch of red oak. It wasn't within the age range. It was just over the age range to plug. And it was also really large pieces. So we ended up using it for firewood. This video is gonna show you why it's important to plug around the knot holes, even though they look like they are healed up and there's nothing going on with the log. So I'm gonna show you what those knots on the inside look like and what those knots are potentially harboring so that you can make better formed decisions about whether or not to use a log for inoculation, for, for cultivating mushrooms on logs, or if you just wanted to cull that log and use it for heating your house with wood. So you see this oak, it's a little past its prime for plugging logs, so, but you can see this huge knot here. This was a log that was probably 15 inches in diameter. And so when I tell people to plug logs, I tell them to always plug, plug holes around these, around these big knots. And it looks like the knot has healed up. There's no visible entry into the log, but I want to show you what's on the inside. So you can see this, it's very soft, like there's one piece here. It just came out of this part. You can see the mycelium in it. I don't know what kind of mycelium that is because I did not put it there, but you can see it breaks apart pretty easily. It's really beautiful uh, black uh, carbonaceous material that's already been broken down by the fungi. And so you can see here, and you can also kind of see on this back side. All the wood looked totally fine except for those that spot there. Uh, so that's why it's important to put your plug holes all the way around these knots is to kind of quarantine this mycelium in this specific area and keep it out of the rest of the log that you're trying to provide as a food source for the fungi that you are trying to grow. 